Crews in the town of Schuyler are picking up the pieces after a gas leak tonight. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Katrina Spurl was there and has the details. It was an unusual day in Schuyler. Work crews were working on an old building when they hit a gas line. Officials immediately knocked on businesses' doors to evacuate. The whole area total was at least an eight block area of evacuation, which included two banks, two grocery stores, the courthouse and city hall. The natural gas leak was in the area of 12th and B streets. Crews had been working to demolish the old building since Monday. An employee at the bank says they quickly evacuated several blocks away. Don't hang up the phone, you know, just be very cautious. You just need to get out right away. Don't use any of the equipment because things can, you know, set that, um, set it off an explosion. The town has experienced gas leaks before, but nothing like this. I believe that there have been gas leaks in the past, but not one that I'm aware of of this uh, this high of caliber that required such a large amount of evacuation. Sue says Denise has been the person to get the most fast and accurate information from. It's something the town has really relied on since the March flooding. She was posting things on Facebook, so we were actually following her from where we were located at, waiting for the, uh, you know, the all clear signs. Black Hills Energy was called to help assist with the incident alongside the Schuyler Police Department and the Colfax County Sheriff's Office. Yes, today was an inconvenience. I'm very, very happy to say that no one was injured, which to us is by far the most important thing. And most of the businesses in town came right back and got right back to work. Streets in downtown Schuyler were closed for a few hours. Workers remained on site to make final repairs. They expect business to return to normal. Reporting in Schuyler, Katrina Spurl, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.